Hello guys, welcome to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more Seven Engineering updates. So today our topic is how to find the quantity of steel and beams and how to find the quantity of concrete and beams, right? We will find the both, the quantity of steel and the quantity of concrete and beam. So here uh, to discuss the quantity of steel and how to find this uh, the steel in the quantity and the concrete quantity, we are here taking an example of steel, of beams. For example, let's consider a beam here like I'm considering it in 3D, right? This is a 3D beam. I draw it in 3D. Let's consider, and um, this is a beam, uh, and let's take uh, an example of beam. This is a length, uh, the beam is uh, 10, length having 10 foot, and the width of the beam is having uh, two foot and the depth of the beam is having is three foot D, right? So is the cross section of the beam. Now the uh, cross section view of the, the beam we show it here A A section. If we look from this side, so it we will see the beam section like this. And consider these are in uh, three bars at the bottom and two bars at the at the top and two others bar little small bar. So I represent the cross section of the beam here. Right? These are the bars. Longitudinal bar. These are the longitudinal bars which are going through the length of the beam, right? Through length throughout the length of the beam, these bars. Right? If we are in cross section we will see like the dot. So uh, let's considering uh, to find the quantity we are taking an example that this is a beam having uh, steel reinforcement having uh, two number eight bars at the top bar and compression used and, and these are the three three number three number eight bars are used at the bottom and ten for tension while the two other bars are also used these are uh, two number six bars let's consider these are number six bars right so we have to first to find the quantity of steel uh, in this beam to find its quantities uh, so it uh, means how much uh, how much area of steel uh, are used in this uh, uh, in this beam. So to calculate uh, that how much area beam will be used. So uh, we are describing here. So these are number uh, three number eight bar and two number eight bar, right? So first we are going to discuss this. So uh, there are five number uh, three plus two. So it's number eight bars. So it's five number eight bars are used, right? While two number six bars are used. So this is number six bar, right? Two number six bars are used. So uh, five number eight and two number six bars are used. So first we have to know what is the area of number eight bar. Is the number eight bar? So the area of number eight bar is 0 0.79 inches square, right? And what's the area of number six bar? So we know that the area of number six bar is 0.44 inch square right when you get the num area of these bars which number used then it's simple very really simple to calculate the quantity of steel how much quantity is used in this beam so the total area of steel will be total uh, total area of steel will be is total s will be uh, the area of steel which we used for number five bars and number two number two number six bar right so what we do five Five numbers of bars are used number eight and plus the two numbers of bar are used what number six bars Why well, number six area is 0 0.44 so we multiply this we will get the quantity of steel so a is total a is will be equal to uh, 3.95 plus uh, 2 multiply 0.88 so we get the total area of steel is 4.83 inches square because the unit here was used inches square so the total area of steel used here was a 4.83 inch square uh, steel was used here and uh, this was the uh, way how to calculate the area of steel if you know how uh, which reinforcement is used first simply know which reinforcement is number three number eight two number six and two number eight so we will get the, how much number eight is used three plus two 
and we will get the five number eight and two number six bar used we should know the area of each bars and then to find the total area we multiply the area of each number of bars with the specific bar five are used number eight and two are used number six so multiply these two quantities and then addition it we will get the total area of steel here used in this beam now to find the quantity of concrete in this beam that how much quantity of concrete are used in this beam right so quantity of concrete is really simple to get the quantity of concrete uh, like uh, to find the quantity of concrete like i'm writing here quantity of concrete 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 quantity so it's really simple just to find out the volume of this beam and to find the volume of this beam we will get the concrete quantity n uh, foot cubic right so the volume of this beam will be length length cross width cross depth cross width cross depth so we get the volume and this volume will be the volume of this uh, beam will be the quantity of concrete how much quantity of concrete is used in this beam so the length of the beam is 10 foot we write the 10 width is 2 foot and the depth is 3 foot so it comes out to be uh, 50 cubic foot right it means the volume of the concrete should be used in this beam will be 50 cubic foot the concrete will be used in volume while the area of steel which we used here is 4.83 inches square right so this was all about to find the quantity of steel as well as the quantity of concrete and beam this was the method how to find the quantities right uh, and please uh, don't forget to subscribe or a channel for more civil engineering updates thank you for watching our video